Konnichiwa, and welcome to the Bright Agent. Today we're going to learn about the second system, which is Katakana. Katakana is 10% of all the words you'll ever use in Japanese. 90% goes to Hiragana, but we're not going to talk about it today. Katakana is essentially using the language from different countries. Not the, usually not domesticated in Japan. There are a few exceptions, and I'll tell you how to notice them, not only in Hiragana and Kanji, but in Katakana sometimes as well. Katakana is basically using the loan words, different countries. That's what it's all about. For example, if you don't know the word, that means, for example, kitchen, Probably you're going to use kitchen, even though that's not the actual meaning. Sometimes it's also known as westernized because that's not where it came from Japan. Japan and the east, other countries made it usually from the west. So it does make sense to sometimes call it westernized, but not all of the time. For katakana, there are a few exceptions. For example, ningo, tabago, and kujida, kame, kani, and so on. The list is a bit broad of the ones that we use flexibly in hiragana, katakana, and kanji simultaneously. So there are a big, wide range of options that you can use but why the person who invented japanese made this slightly easier and the developers of the japanese who kind of modernized it a little made it easier so that way there's a broad way of knowing things not just one singular meaning for example for example orange can have several meanings for example from daidaino and even japanese people use this katakana word orangey which means orange not as an orange fruit which is mikan more specifically but orangey is used for the color daidaino is used less often even though it's hiragana slash kanji so, therefore, it is important to use Katakana in some cases, but not all cases. 10% is still important, but not as necessary using Hiragana when there is an option. Or Katakana, uh, or Katakana. But sometimes Katakana can actually help you win in favour. Sometimes you don't need to use the literal meaning of stuff. For, for example, when you, when you use some words, like kitchen, you don't need to use the kanji slash hiragana word for kitchen. You don't need to use that sometimes. It's rather important to use some, something like this. Kitchen, instead of whatever the kanji word of kitchen is. Kitchen is. So basically... Catacola varies. It's useful, useless, and sometimes in between. In the big, fat, grey area. So there is no telling what will happen to the modernisation of Catacola. But for now, all we need to know is that if there's a Hiragana or Kanji option, choose that, unless it's on NG. Bye, guys. And see you next time.